Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. I really appreciate you joining me once again. As you know, recently I did a video showing you how to use and how to cook on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Well, I've had quite a few requests since that video asking if the Weber Smoky Mountain, which is a true smoker, if it can be used as a charcoal grill. The answer is an emphatic yes. I have done it. I love using it that way as well. And it doesn't hurt the Weber Smoky Mountain one bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to show you how to grill a steak on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Should be fantastic. Y'all stick around. I'm going to show you how you get this thing set up for grilling action. Okay, everybody. As you can see, I've got the upper portion, the lid and the midsection for the Weber Smoky Mountain set aside. And I've got a grill set up over here. Let me show you what we've got in the base of the Weber Smoky Mountain right here. And this is what I've got. Still got my fire ring in here got some charcoal lit and I pushed them to one side that'll give me an area over here where I can do some indirect cooking if I need to and again you can use lump charcoal or charcoal briquettes this happens to be some briquettes from uh, leftover from the last cook that I did on the Whip Smoky Mountain but you need that fire ring in there for this reason when you put your grill in there you grate you need something to hold that grate up and as you can see depending on how many charcoals you have in here I've got quite a bit uh, it is real close to the grill grate. So we're talking searing temperatures right here, folks. That's why you need to try to leave a uh, space on the side where you can do some indirect cooking. The only downside I've found anyway, because I'm kind of tall, is that this is right on the ground, so you have to lean over a lot, you know, bend over to do the grilling, but that's, that ain't going to bother me a whole lot. So we're going to let these charcoals get up the temp here, and we will check back with you here very shortly when we throw the steak on. It's gonna be great, stick around. And folks, I forgot to mention just now, all of the vents on the bottom are wide open. If you need to, if it's getting too hot, you can close them off and you can also put the lid on. All right, everybody's gonna show you how this lid fits real quick. My coals are just about ready and there's no lip to really hold the lid. So you can't lock it in place like you would if it were on the midsection there, the, you know, where the water pan is, but it does fit. It's a, it's a tight seal. It's the same exact diameter as the base, so it's a really nice fit. And you'll see this temperature is just cranking up, man. So my coals are really hot, getting ready. When you do use the lid, what I like to do is leave this vent on the top open. And again, all the vents on the bottom are wide open. All right, folks, I am fixing to remove this lid. I just want to let you know we're at least 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty, pretty doggone hot. Um, what I also wanted to mention too is that the charcoal briquettes will never get as hot as lump charcoal. So if you want like some 750 to 1000 degree Fahrenheit temps to sear, you need to use lump charcoal. All right, folks, we are ready. All I've got here is a one and three quarter inch thick USDA prime ribeye. We're gonna throw that baby on, just let it go for a few minutes on that side. I'll bring you back when we're flipping it. All right, everybody, we've been going three minutes. It's time to flip her over. And I did forget to mention that I put some oil on the grate and also oiled the steak itself. That's going to give it a really nice crust. And I just used some uh, some of that red monkey steak seasoning that y'all seen me use before. You can use salt and pepper if you don't have any real steak seasoning. Let's let this go a couple more minutes. But uh, don't let the flames bother you. I mean, if, if you don't like it flame and get that crust on the outside, just put the lid on it. And in fact, I'll do that for you. I'll put the lid on. We'll let it finish cooking for a few more minutes with the lid on. And then we'll be back. I don't know if you can see it or not, but when you put the lid on, you are snuffing out the flame. So you will get a lot of smoke. And you can also put wood chunks or wood chips in here if you want. If you use chips, I'd suggest soaking them. The wood chunks would also work and again, all the vents are just still wide open. Guys, it's a lovely smell. Okay, another minute and a half or so, we'll be back. Okay, everybody. Again, see, we're approaching 550. It's still really hot in there, but no flame. Now we got flame again. That's how it works. Let's see what this is looking like. Now, see, this side looks not quite as burnt. So if that's the way you like it, do it that way with the lid on or another way put it over here put the lid on just let it cook indirect however you want to do it it's all good 
That's feeling pretty good. We're gonna take it inside and let it rest uh, tinted in foil. We'll be back. Okay, everybody, this steak has been resting for about 15 minutes. Let's cut into it and see what it's all about. You can see it's got the bone. There's a bone right here. So it is a bone in ribeye. I'm gonna tell you what, just my first instinct, the smell of this is amazing. Definitely amazing. You definitely get a lot more flavor out of the charcoal grill than you would if you did this over gas grill. So I hope y'all give this a try. I'm gonna tell you what, that steak is fabulous. Let's cut me a slice off over here. We'll give it a little taste right out of the middle here. Yeah, let's give this a try. And first you gotta smell it though. Mmm, man, I love smelling meat when it comes off that charcoal grill. Goodness gracious. Let's give it a taste. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Mmm. I love that. You get that nice char on the outside. Oh man, and that meat's just so tender and juicy. Golly, folks. I hope y'all give this a try. If you've got a Weber Smoky Mountain, set it up in the configuration I showed you and use it as a grill. You will be pleasantly surprised at how wonderful a grill it is. If y'all try it, y'all send me some pictures. There aren't that many people out there using Weber Smoky Mountains as a grill, so I wanna see what you're cooking. Just PM me a picture. That'd be great. Y'all give me a thumbs up if y'all like the video. I hope this helps a lot of people out there that have the Weber Smoky Mountain. And um, folks, I hope you share this video. And when you do, please tell all of your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody.